girl, what? like how long it had been since I vlogged. The last time I vlogged wasn't last Christmas. It was the Christmas before last, child. And I had intended to take a break. Like that was my whole intent to take a break from vlogging. But child, that was like a year plus break. Like, yeah. I did a lot of things last year that now looking back on it that I wish I had a vlog. I literally went to three different countries last year. I went to the Dominican Republic and like, April. I went to Peru at the end of September. I went to Mexico in November. I wanted to not vlog any of that because I wanted to be in the moment and enjoy the experience and all that stuff. I did a lot of cool things in Peru. I went on an ayahuasca retreat and if you don't know what ayahuasca is, it's like a it's a natural herbal like medicine, but it's classified as a psychedelic like on some DMT type shit. And so I, I had an ayahuasca trip, which was actually pretty cool. In the Dominican Republic, I went to like three, four different islands. And Mexico's always a vibe. If you've been to Mexico once, you've been to Mexico, you know, a, a thousand times. Yeah, it was a, it was a vibe. And so and now I'm back into the mode of vlogging. Because that was like the initial thing that I was doing when I started doing YouTube was vlogs. If you go back. To my earlier content, like everything is vlogs, you know? And so that's what I'm doing. And sometimes I really do like just enjoying the experience and not having to make sure I pull my camera out at like the perfect moments and stuff like that. Because sometimes that can be a lot. I think the break did me good. I got to travel to three different countries last year and like literally enjoy the experience and learn so much so i did like some tours and stuff there i went to go see this village so the peru trip was like on some solo trip vibes i met some people there but i didn't really know those people like that and let me <laughs> that's a story for another day child a story for another day that was like my first like solo trip vibe where i literally get on the plane and go out the country like by myself we took another plane to cusco which is like in the mountains and i had intended to go to machu picchu but child, uh, what they call that stuff? Altitude sickness? Altitude sickness took me out, girl. I'll tell you, I was in bed for the whole first day that I got to Cusco because my whole body just felt like heavy. It felt so heavy and so weighed down. Come to find out that was altitude sickness that happens if you know, you're know you not used to being in a, a mountainous area and Cusco is in the mountains. And so I didn't do that. I didn't end up doing that, but I still did the ayahuasca retreat which was like a, a one day experience for like the entire fucking day, which was so cool. We went in the mountains, we were with the shaman 
they had like everything set up i'm actually if you're into that type of thing it's like very spiritual vibes or whatever if you're into that type of thing i will like leave some information like literally going to another country to do psychedelics is already wild when you think about it i would 10 out of 10 recommend them if you want to go so i will put that information somewhere in the description box and i, I would do ayahuasca again too but i'm probably not gonna do it for a while ayahuasca is not something that you do like every day like if you're a weed smoker it's something different than ayahuasca i thought ayahuasca was like the precursor to like getting into the shrooms world and all that come to find out child ayahuasca is like the granddaddy to the shrooms i skipped the whole step child i ain't never did no shrooms i skipped the whole <laughs> I skipped the whole step and went to the big one. Literally, life changing. The things that I saw on that trip, I could not even explain to you in words. The most amazing experience. That's what I've been up to, you know? That is what I have been up to. And it's like, you don't realize how you're like checking your goals off your list until you like sit back and think about it. Like what you did last year and you're like, oh shit. I like did my goal like what how when did that happen you don't realize it's happening when it's happening you realize that after the fact you're like oh shit Look back and was like wait a minute from April April to November I went to like three different countries I was like bitch when you did that bitch when did you do that <laughs> wait a minute when did we do that I already have mascara on so I'm just going to do my bottom lashes and I'm trying to wait until it stops raining before I go to the nail shop because driving in Houston is already an extreme sport. <laughs> okay. It's already dangerous by itself. And when you add rain into the mix, no. Okay. I'm not finna, I'm not finna play with these people. Because they do not value their life enough for me. Okay. So I'm trying to wait until the rain stops. And then I'm also waiting for a couple packages to be delivered that I didn't even know that I was waiting to be delivered. But my man came and told me that it's some stuff coming for me. So I'm like, for me? Well, shit, I might wait. So I'm trying to figure out. what the hell i i literally have no idea what these things are what is it a table set shit child this is shit that i can't even open myself what is this a chase ain't that one of them little chair things ain't a chase one of them chairs i have no idea what any of these things are so i guess we gonna have to wait till he get off y'all so this is what was inside of that really big box okay and those uh tables was inside of the smaller box that was with it at the door and he also got me a new camera and the vlogger kit that goes with the camera too okay she i guess this is our chair i guess this is our chair Honey, it's that time of the month, okay? So, me and Miri are just chilling. I'm trying to decide if I want to DoorDash or if I want to get up and go cook me something. Even, the like, the me saying get up and cook me something, that just, like, took so much energy out of me. I think that's a sign to no. Don't get up and cook nothing. Use DoorDash. 
period. I was going to get up. I was going to do my yoga today. You know, I was going to cook me a cute little breakfast or whatever. It's just not giving it. It's not giving that. It's giving relax with the cat. Look at him. Living his best life. Living his best life. I ain't getting up. I ain't doing nothing. Maybe I'm not going to do nothing for the next two more days. Who knows? I've been on this kick of like not eating processed food for the most part because your girl be door dashing and I don't know what the fuck they be doing with the food in the kitchen. So who knows if it's processed or not. But my own food, I haven't been making any processed food or anything like that. I've been making everything from scratch. I'm talking about pancakes, muffins from scratch, everything from scratch. And I'm talking about without flour, with like almond flour, coconut flour, cassava flour, making my own tortillas. Like I've been literally on this health kick. Of just doing stuff because I notice how those processed foods be just doing my body bad. And that's another thing. I don't eat chicken no more. I don't eat chicken no more. I found out that chicken causes me hormonal problems. They put in too many hormones in a chicken. If your man is walking around real sassy, cut down on the chicken that y'all eating. It's probably the chicken. Okay, if you real moody... And you've been having some hormonal issues. That time the month been real bad. Cut out the chicken. Or go to like organic chicken. But they put in something in the chicken. I'm telling you. So I think it's the hormones that they already put in it. So if you are experiencing hormonal issues. Hormonal imbalances and things like that. And I think I heard like people. Um, they grow facial hair if they're experiencing hormonal issues. If you're having those problems. Try cutting out chicken and see what happens. See, I don't know about the facial hair, but I heard that that happens. So if that's a hormonal thing and you eat a lot of chicken, it could be the chicken, girl, giving you the beard. It could be the chicken. It could. I'm just saying. I'm not like a health advisor or nothing like that, but for my own personal body, my skin breaking out, it's the chicken. I've noticed it's the chicken, okay? Because I ain't had no problems until I started messing with that chicken. And I don't want no bread either. That's another thing. I don't eat bread. I eat bread. I eat oat bread or flaxseed bread. But I can't eat regular bread. Everything gluten-free. Child, when I tell you I can't have nothing, I literally can't have nothing. Let me let me tell y'all a list of shit that I can't have. Okay? Let me tell you the list. Sometimes I don't always follow the list. Like, if it's the weekend, I'll be like, fuck it. No caffeine. No alcohol, no fried foods, no fast foods, no artificial sweeteners, no white sugar, no white flour, no white bread, no white nothing, no white men's, no soda, and no chicken. That's that's basically everything. That's everything. Y'all know how much stuff has sugar in it? Everything has sugar in it. Everything has sugar in it. Okay, we got seafood noodle soup. Hold on. Hold on, cuz. Fish balls. See... No. They gonna lose me with something because I know too much about food. <laughs> I know too much about food. Now, fish balls, heavily processed, okay? Just know that. Why well, I can't get up with just shrimp? With just the shrimp, man. That's all I want. Beef stew and pork noodles. I do not want that. I'm finna to find me something to eat on DoorDash. And I'll come back and show y'all what I got because at this point in time,
today i'm really just not doing much today still i'm washing all of my clothes today which is probably going to take me like a while <laughs> I've been up for a while, but we just been around here chilling. We were sitting outside, me and my friends. Where he at? Yeah. <laughs> we were sitting outside earlier today. I already made my breakfast, ate my breakfast, and now I'm just washing my clothes. And um, after that, I think I'm more than likely going to also organize my closet. Because, girl, can I can I talk? Thing. Y'all, so I had ordered, right, some shampoo and conditioner on Amazon last night because I didn't have no more. So I had got, um, what is this, rosemary mint strengthening conditioner, right? One bottle, right? And I also have bought one bottle of the, who is these people? Camille Rose Ginger Rinse Shampoo, right? One bottle. Now, together, this shit was like $23, right? Mind you, one bottle and one bottle. Let me show you something. Okay, $11. I paid $11 for my Camille Rose stuff, right? Camille Rose shampoo for $11. I have $66 worth of product right here for $11. Okay, and no, it wasn't no deal. No, it wasn't no coupon. Somebody in the factory that messed up. Somebody in the factory. What? Like, and, and listen, do not go snitching to Amazon trying to mess up my blessing. Don't do that, okay? It's Pisces season. If you cannot tell, honey, okay? The universe is coming through. Pisces season. Okay, it is most definitely Pisces season because what? How do you... I open the... I'm like, why is this box so heavy? I open the box and see all these little things. I'm like... So I go check, right? Because now I got to check on Amazon and make sure I didn't accidentally order six bottles of these, right? And make sure they didn't charge me. I go look, the purchase still says it was $23 for all of this. All of this was $23. Okay, I just want to show y'all what it's like to be God's favorite. <laughs> Period. Okay, so this is the first time I'm trying either of these. This is the first time I'm trying this conditioner, and this is the first time I'm trying this shampoo. So let's hope I actually like this shampoo because what am I doing with this? So, I don't know if y'all know, I have dreadlocks. I have locks underneath this uh, wig I got on right now. My birthday is coming up in two weeks on the 5th. My birthday is coming up. So, I'm trying to decide if I want to wait to retwist my hair until it's, like, closer to my birthday or if I want to do it beforehand. Either way, I'm going to need shampoo and conditioner for it. So, I just went ahead and bought some. So, yeah. I just wanted to show y'all that because I'm like, girl, what? What? Good morning. How y'all doing? I literally just woke up. He was wanting to come outside. So I tried. I didn't even get a chance to go in the bathroom and do nothing. I had to come let him out. You want to stay out here? It's kind of cold. I really want to take this wig off my head. Like the first time, throw away all my pride. Don't want to say I, I love you first, but holding it in just might make me burst. Love in the
whispering winds bring the remembrance that you're my girl no shame no games i wanna fall in love fall in love i'll be a savage i'll be a baddest bitch or do you Sweet caramel honey dipped I'm yours till the bee flips Don't let it slip Give up my power Yes, afraid to lose each other Counting the hours till I see you again, again. Could you be life lover and Wondering where you went Or who could you be with No, I'm not possessive But you're mine okay. I'ma let you live No shame No shame No game Flies flapping in me Don't stop what you're doing yeah. What you doing to me? <laughs> Hi guys! That yoga session was like Everything I needed in my life Except it was so hot I would wait until the sun is like Blistering hot in the middle of the fucking sky To decide to do yoga Literally But I got these um, little container thingies on Amazon because I need to organize all of my stuff under my sink. So I got these little things and they come with like this drawer thingy. And so I'm just about to organize under my sink. Let me show y'all. Let me uh, show y'all what it's looking like. Okay, everything is just thrown under there. It looks like I might be able to fit three to four of these under there, and that's probably all I will need. Here I find myself again. Traveling only in my head From the past to future play More change, yeah, yeah, yeah. My emotions are valid But the goal is not to be triggered every time So I was able to fit about three under here I still got some stuff back there behind um, these things. So this is hair products and some face products. This is my head scarf, shower caps, bandanas, bonnets, all that. And this is just headbands, hair clips, and um, edge bands and things like that. And then I put two more under here. Don't mind my trash, yes, I know I need to take it out. And then I actually still have one left, so. I still have one left, but it looks so much better. Okay, now I'm about to go relax, child. I'm about to go lay down, watch me some TV, might take a nap, but 
yeah i'll let y'all know if we doing anything else